Hey guys, Phil Abatacola here. Welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. This is the 12th entry in the uh, Changelings vlog marathon diary, whatchamacallit. I uh, wanted to thank you guys for sticking around. Those of you who are watching, I know that the... Um, I know, uh, <clears throat> just wanted to give a quick update today. I spoke with Zane, the special effects artist who was supposed to read the script, and he did. He loved it, so he's on board. Very excited. I'm excited. We're going to meet uh, hopefully next week to discuss materials and how to pull off the complex transformation that I'm hoping to capture on a very, very tight budget. So uh, I'm excited to hear his thoughts, and I'm definitely curious uh, what he thinks is a, a good strategy to go about capturing this. But I think that what's going to help with the makeup and with the special effects that we need to achieve is going to be lighting. I think lighting is going to play a really large part in augmenting and hiding the things that we don't really want to highlight. I mean, it, if we're going to be on low budget, I've got to figure, I really have to figure out a way of showing the monster in a way that's scary, that reveals enough detail to, to really creep you out and disgust you and make you afraid. But also, I want to hide all the bad parts. I think you know, a lot of times people go really overboard with the effect, wanting to show too much of it. And that tends to kill the effect. I, you know, effects, as real as they are, uh, really feel, can just often feel really fake. I mean, you, when, when you see the full effect, when you see the full effect, when you see something like a full, when you see things like fully animated characters that go through the entire film, say, a la Jar Jar Binks, or, you know, pick another one, um, that, you, you can, you know, it, it's, it's too much. It'll, I always see the flaws in those kinds of things, because it's always, it's always showing itself off, and when you show, you know, when effects are done just to show themselves off, you're just scrutinizing the effects, and you find all the flaws are revealed. And you, just, you just see all the flaws, at least I do. You can take the opposite approach with effects and use them really sparingly or in uh, extremely punctuated moments so that they really are just in service of the story. When that happens, uh, you're focusing less on the effect. It matters less. It's more, you're, you know, I think that I'm more forgiving of it even if it's a bad effect. It's like the moment was chosen correctly, you know, when, when to use the power of special effects. And I, I appreciate that. And it's something about low budgets where I think that that kind of goes without saying, but that same principle can be applied to bigger movies. Uh, sometimes the more you show doesn't always mean better. And in this case, specifically with the special effects, I think that that's going to be the uh, sort of rule of thumb is that, you know, the the less we reveal, the better. Sort of, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's, it's not, it's going to be the inverse of more is more. I think in this case, it'll be less is more. I think that's A, a necessary function of the budget because we really can't go overboard with it. And B, by being very selective and hiding all the flaws in the lighting and being very creative with how we show the monster, that could really be in service to the narrative because you really can't rely on those effects as your crutch. They're not going to be the thing that saves the movie. So in the end, it's, it's going to be a good thing that we have this creative restraint um, and I'm looking forward to the challenge. So anyways, that's it for tonight. Uh, good luck out there, have a good weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. Alright, see you there.